Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Beast video tutorial blog. Today we're going to talk about the velocity based training, also known as VBT. Uh, VBT is a recent and mo very modern technique uh, of training that comes from athletes and uh, strength and conditioning coaches from the colleges. They are basically using the bar speed to determine every other parameter in their workout. So they they choose their load, they choose the number of repetition, they choose the number of set, they choose the, also the rest time just by checking the speed of the bar during their workout. Obviously you need to know the, the bar speed and you need a device that measures the speed of the bar. Beast is perfect for this purpose and today I'm going to show you how to set it up in order to do the VBT with it. So first of all uh, we want to make sure that we select the, the correct goal, use velocity. The second part is the load. Uh, for velocity based training we want to set the target speed as the main and only cho choice we have to do. Uh, for strength speed I usually work from 0.8 meters per second to 1.3 meters per second. So I will do the first set with 60 kilograms and we will check the velocity of uh, the, the bar and then we will make correction basing on the output. So let's put into 60 kilos and place the... when you're doing the bench press I always put the, set, the, the phone on my right side and the sensor on my left side so I don't uh, have interferences with uh, the device. Press start and go. So you see here on the upper on the upper right side mean speed I have 0.66 meters per second. Let me check there's one rep that I have to delete that is actually the unrack of the bar. So 0 0.89, 0 0.84, 0 0.80, 0 0.68, that is actually a very good set if I'm working for strength speed. I could probably try some more weight, so something like 65. Basically my set stops once I'm below the 0 0.8, so right now I did exactly my workout, my, what I had to do. Let's put on 65 and see what changes. So we put 65 kilograms on the bar. Let's do another set and see what comes out. Point 0.74. So the, the mean speed of the set is a little bit down. Let's see the repetitions. Okay, there's always one repetition to delete. 0 0.93, 0 0.86, 0 0.91, 0 0.86. So it's actually very good. So better than the early set. Probably I'm warming up. I can go up again with weight. Let's try 70 kilograms. Again, there's a lot of research online about velocity-based training. It is basically the fastest way to determine your load, uh, basing it on your daily condition. So if you're poorly rested, your 1RM may be uh, much less than, your, than the last time that you tested it. So again, by targeting the speed, uh, you are sure that you're working that strength that kind of strength that you that, that, that you want. Uh, if one day you feel great, maybe your 1RM is greater, so you're, you would be actually under training working with that percentage. So why not load the bar, uh, put even more weight on the bar and keep going. Let's put on the weight and see the third set, how it goes. So 70 are now on the bar, third set.
Okay. You see now, I slow down. So 0 0.95, 0 0.80, 0 0.77, 0 0.64. So uh, I could decide right now to work out with this load and do probably three sets, three reps every set. And I can do this until my speed drops below 80. And basically I can't do any repetition in a set with 80 kilograms. So that would be the moment when either I stop training or I lower the weight. That depends on how much volume I want to do. So if you're interested in velocity-based training, you can look online. Uh, Brian Mann is actually one of the uh, coaches that did the more research about velocity-based training. You just you can click on it, you can Google it, and you will find a lot of, ma of material about this. Basically, what you want to know is a table with the different speed related to the different kind of strength you are training. There's a research from Gonzalez Badillo that uh, shows that the velocity of the bar, the bar speed basically and the uh, daily intensity of your training is strictly related. So just remember that, for example, if you want to work for absolute strength, your bar speed must be below 0.5 meters per second, better if it is around 0.3 meters per second. If you're working for explosiveness, for example, strength speed or pure power, then you want to work around 0.8 to 1 meters per second in most of the exercises. Uh, if you're doing instead starting strength, so you're working for pure explosiveness, then you have to reach 1.3 meters per second, so obviously you will use lighter loads. And uh, that's the table. It should appear on my right here. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. We will shoot more videos about velocity-based training and stuff like that. And we will we'll also write more articles. Please comment and uh, everything you have, thoughts, everything sends to info at beasttechnologies.com. Thank you for watching.